Here in Austin, we love our creeks and lakes. That is why the city is working to turn stream banks and floodplains into healthy riparian areas we call grow zones. These areas support a lot of beneficial native species, but may also get some invasive non-native plants. Today, I will demonstrate one technique to manage invasive trees. Before you work on managing any invasive species, you should have an approved riparian restoration plan in place. In Austin, one of our most common invasive trees is glossy privet or ligostrum. This species establishes around existing native trees and competes with them for water. It also creates a deep shaded area where young native trees cannot reach enough light and die. Mature ligostrums produce thousands of seeds and its seedlings can tolerate more shade than native species. Over time, it dominates all the forest layers. Girdling is a simple technique to manage adult ligostrum trees. It is important to have someone with plant identification experience to make sure the plant in question is an invasive species. We want to protect native trees. Ligostrum has smooth, glossy, dark green leaves with opposite arrangement of the stem. That is, two leaves are present in each node. It is also an evergreen species, and that makes it easy to identify when other trees have dropped their leaves in the fall and winter. Before you start, make sure you wear thick gloves. Using a pruning saw at about four feet from the ground, carefully make one cut around the entire stem going into the wood about one eighth of an inch. Make a second cut six to 12 inches above the first cut, about shoulder height. If the tree has multiple stems close together, you can also use a manual pruning chain. Using a five-in-one tool, peel away all the bark between the two cuts, exposing the wood underneath. Scrape all the moist tissue and any bark left. It is important to expose the drier wood. You will need to return about every other month to re-scrape any tissue that may have formed as the tree tries to reconnect the roots to the canopy and also to remove any sprouts under the girdle. This follow-up is crucial to successfully kill the trees. Otherwise, they will either reconnect with the canopy or replace it with new branches under the girdle. It is going to take between one or two years for the tree to die, but as the canopy starts declining and it drops its leaves, a gap of light is created and native seedlings can grow and reach mature size. If your restoration site has a canopy dominated by ligostrum, work on clusters of about 15 trees to create light gaps in the canopy of about 100 square feet. If there are no native saplings present, Planting them is an important follow-up activity once the canopy has thinned out and enough light reaches the ground. You can also seed with native shade tolerant grasses and wildflowers to help protect the soil and increase diversity. Managing young ligostrum saplings is also important. Don't miss our Weed Ranch video to learn how to remove them. To learn more about invasive plants, visit austintexas.gov invasive and to learn more about riparian restoration and get involved, visit austintexas.gov creek site. <laughs>